Hello, I am Dr. Hari Kishan, consultant physician working at Eshwada Hospital, Somajigura, Hyderabad. Let's talk about hypertension or high blood pressure. High blood pressure, what is high blood pressure? What is normal blood pressure? So normal blood pressure, when you look at a blood pressure, it has two values. The upper value is called systolic blood pressure, the lower value is called diastolic blood pressure. Normally, the upper value or the systolic blood pressure would be between 100 and 140 millimeters of mercury whereas the lower value or the diastolic blood pressure should be between 60 to 90. They are the normal values. However, there are few exceptions. Some thin people, they normally have 90 or 60 BP and it's normal for them, you know, they don't have any symptoms. So some people tend to have little low blood pressure and which, which may be normal for them, especially thin people and preg early pregnancy, they may uh, have little low blood pressure. But if it is 140, 90 or more at any age, it's considered high blood pressure. Okay. Who is likely to develop blood pressure? So, it's a disease of, it's usually seen in adult patients, okay, anybody about 25-30 age can develop high blood pressure, people who are very obese, who have strong family history of high blood pressure are at risk of developing blood pressure and there is something called secondary hypertension which is seen in much younger patients. See, people who develop blood pressure at the age of 35-40, that's called essential hypertension, there's no definite reason, it is basically their genetic predisposition and their, you know, their weight and, you know, family history, all of them are responsible for them developing high blood pressure. Okay, but there are small proportion of patients who develop blood pressure at very early age or who have very difficult to control blood pressure and there are certain uh, hormonal or endocrinological issues or kidney issues which can cause high blood pressure. That's called secondary hypertension. But what we generally see is something called essential hypertension. So diagnosis is very easy. You can check the blood pressure by using a blood pressure apparatus. Uh, most of the times when you go to a doctor, they use a manual blood pressure apparatus, BP apparatus, but you have digital BP machines available easily. You can get them online and many of them are reasonably reliable. But manual BP measurements are more reliable compared to the digital machines. And then when you diagnose blood pressure, you should, you know, patient cannot be like running to the hospital and checking his blood pressure. He should be seated comfortably. He should have rested for a few minutes before uh, the blood pressure is checked. And one high reading above 140-90, you should not uh, diagnose it as hypertension or high blood pressure. It should be demonstrated at least on two to three occasions. If a patient comes to my clinic and his blood pressure is found to be high, then what we do is we check it after a few minutes again, 10 to 15 minutes, because there is something called white coat hypertension. Some patients, the moment they come to hospital, the blood pressure goes high. So we usually make them seated for a while and then recheck the blood pressure. If it is still high, then we ask them to check at home for two, next two to three days and come back to us. And if the BP is at home also is high, okay, and then it is documented on more than two occasions, then we diagnose hypertension and then what do we do then? How do we treat? If it is not too high, you know, BP is like 140 to 150, what we can uh, do is ask them to cut down their salt to about four grams per day. So it's not possible to measure four grams and take it. So what you need to do is uh, whatever the salt that you're using while preparing, you know, curries, etc., while cooking, that you cut down the quantity. Don't take any food item which has a lot of salt, like poppers, pickles, we all, you know, love, we eat a lot. And some people have this habit of adding salt to curds and buttermilk. Don't do that. Okay, so avoid added salt and that will be roughly about 3 to 5 grams and that will bring down your blood pressure by about 5 millimeters mercury and if the BP is still not controlled or if the blood pressure to begin with is like 160 or more then we need to start medications there are plenty of medications uh, available to control blood pressure some people the blood pressure uh, comes down easily just with small dose of one tablet but for some people they may they may require two to three different types of BP medications. Most people think that blood pressure is not a big issue. You know, people think that diabetes is the only disease which can cause heart problems and all, but people with high blood pressure are also at significant risk of brain strokes, then kidney failures, heart attacks, etc., huh? and even eye uh, vision problems. And people who have diabetes, if they have blood pressure also, then the risk of them developing heart attacks, brain strokes, etc., is fourfold higher. Like the patient with diabetes alone has, you know, risk of let's say one percent. If he has blood pressure, then the risk becomes four percent of developing heart stroke or brain stroke. So they should be all the more cautious. They should control their blood pressure as well and sugars also very well. So there are plenty of uh, uh, medications available that your doctor will deal with. Again, the one more problem with this. You can't just go to your doctor once in a month or once in two, three months and then see the BP and then if the blood pressure is normal, you cannot assume that it's normal, uh, it's all, it's fine because 
BP never remains constant. Even in normal person, if you check the blood pressure every half an hour, one hour throughout the day, it keeps fluctuating. There will be variation. So it's important that you check your blood pressure frequently. It's good to have a machine at home and then you can check it frequently and then make a note of it and when you go to your doctor, you can show the reports. There is also something called ambulatory BP monitoring wherein a BP machine is attached to your body and it checks your blood pressure for 24 hours, once in every 30 minutes during daytime and once every hourly in the night time. And that gives you overall picture, you know, blood pressure throughout the day, what is the mean, what is the highest value, what is the lowest value, that will give us a much better value. But if you find that uh, cumbersome, at least you can check blood pressure, uh, you know, once in a week at least at home and then when you go to your doctor, show all those readings and that will give a better idea to your doctor. Uh, you know how your blood control what your blood uh, pressure control is like then they'll be in a better position to adjust your medications so if you have blood pressure who should check blood pressure everybody at above the age of 25 30 because it's it's not expensive to check a blood pressure thing you know anywhere you can check should check their blood pressure at least once a year and once you are diagnosed to have blood pressure then uh, you check it periodically every week make a note of it visit your doctor once in two to three months depending on your blood pressure control and then you need to have annual checkups you know wherein you need to screen for complications of high blood pressure like kidney problems heart problems etc okay that's all uh, from me about hypertension hope it's useful for you thank you